Hey everybody, this is Mark and I just wanted to take a few minutes to give you a weekly update. So hopefully studying's going well, your semester's going well, and you're ready to become licensed professional engineers one day. So first step in that process is to go past the FE. So again, this course is set up for you. Hopefully it's working out well. You've been able to work on some of the stuff. Uh, I, I am getting updates here. Some of you guys are doing great. Some of you uh, need a little bit of work. And for example, we have some people that have taken the diagnostic test and I can see some of that here, but there are quite a few of you that have not yet done that. So please, please, please go take those 16 tests. I think they're 10 questions each and you know take a look through them to see kind of where you're at where you need to improve and honestly you know some of you're getting 20 30 40 50 percent that's okay do your best you know and this kind of gives you a baseline for where to go where to improve on you can always go back and take those later but again take a look at them what we're going to focus on moving forward though is uh, computational tools engineering economics and ethics so ethics well actually and professional practice so uh, it, right in a row here we're going to hit all those topics there three sections three four and five but if you look at the fe test the way it's set up we have computational tools ethics professional practice engineering economics so each of those uh, come up on this the exam chart for what's covered on the test so this is you know somewhere around 15 questions out of 110 and these are things that you should be able to get but in order to get them you really need to know what's in the FE reference handbook so if you haven't done that yet you want to go download it so go to nces.com uh, download the FE reference handbook you'll notice this first link here handbook 9.5 click on it when you get to NCES make your account and then go from there so when you get into it one of the first things there is a code ethics go read that code ethics it's it's similar to the model codes like the ASCE code or the NSPE code so hopefully in your professionalism class you've gone over that but if you haven't definitely and even if you have this would be a good you know little bit of reading here it's just a few pages but go read it right after the code of ethics there's a section on professional practice you want to take a look at that and, and read that as well there's a model again a model set of laws or legislations legislation for licensure so take a look at those things read through them that's what they're going to test you on they're not going to test you on the ASCE code of ethics they're going to test you on this specific code of ethics that's in the reference handbook. In addition, for computational tools, there, there are some, or there is some information in the reference handbook. Specifically, what you'll notice here is, you know, it, even with some of the questions in the FE Civil Practice Manual, I noticed there are some flowchart items. And to be honest with you, I didn't remember what these definitions were, but if you look them up, those questions become a lot easier and a lot more useful. One thing to point out here, is that when you're looking at them you'll notice that these are in the electrical and computer, computer engineering section they're not in the civil section of the FE reference handbook so definitely learn to use that control F go find things in the book and you'll be able to get there in addition you'll you know you can see there's like if that if then statements up here and there are going to be questions on there there's going to be questions on spreadsheets and that sort of thing so get used to it take a look at it let me know if you have questions. So I'll be there. I'll hopefully be able to answer your questions uh, on any of that if you can't figure it out for yourself. So for office hours this week, uh, Professor Jane Barron will be at office hours. Uh, Professor Barron teaches the engineering economics class for the civil mechanical engineering technology students. Uh, I'll be there as well. I can help with anything with professional practice. I uh, actually, Professor Barron can as well, ethics, uh, professional practice, and also computational tools. So I will be able to answer, hopefully answer at least, your Excel questions and, and rattle them off as easily as Dr. Sajjov did last week with math. He was great. So again, if you haven't seen that, uh, in week two I updated I updated a few things in week two that has a link to the office hours from last week, uh, a copy of the notes that were used. So take a look at that, especially if you were not able to make it, and pass your thanks along to uh, Dr. Satajov. So that's what we're doing this week. We'll have office hours that focus on those items. So uh, just to wrap this up, the checklist for the week, what you first need to do is go download that NCES FE reference handbook. If you haven't done that, download it, download, download, it, read it. Uh, reference to understand where the things are. I think we learned last week even with some of the math items hopefully that a lot of the answers to your questions are right in that handbook. You just have to know where they are and how to use them. And if you can figure that out, that is that will get you points and points and points on this test. So download that reference handbook. 
know where to use it, learn how to use control F to find different different keywords in it. Okay, second, if you haven't done this, and a lot of you have not yet, take your diagnostic exam, see where you're at. This is the baseline. Again, this is set up for you, but it, at least it gets you a starting point to know where you're at. Number three here. Review the FE Civil Review Manual so you can get this online. You have online access to it. Go to your PPI account. You can, under your Learning Hub, you should be able to access the e-text of this, but review the book. You know, just take a look through chapters 59 to 63. Read it, take a look, see what's there. And then lastly, what I would say is take and pass and get 50% at least on your computational tools, engineering, economics, ethics, and professional practice quiz. So that's it for this week. If you have questions, definitely let me know, but uh, the highlights are here. You know, go download that handbook, learn how to use it, take the diagnostic te tests, review, uh, you know, chapters 59 to 63, computational tools, engineering, economics, ethics, and professional practice, and come ready with, to ask questions. And, and I will do my best, and Professor Barron will do her best to answer your questions and, and keep you moving here. So anyway, thanks. If you have questions, feel free to shoot me an email, drop me a line, and we'll talk soon.